In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to complete all of the new Season 9 Week 4 challenges. This is a complete guide on all of the new Week 4 challenges. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to complete every single challenge. So definitely make sure to watch this video until the end to see how to complete every single one of the brand new Week 4 challenges in Season 9. Drop this video a like right now if you guys are completing all of the new challenges. Also, comment down below. Let me know what tier you guys are on the Battle Pass. Thank you to everyone who is using my supporter creator code in the item shop. If you want to support me, you can use my code HeyIt'sBenJ. You can also get a shout out in my next video if you go on Twitter or Instagram and follow me. Both my Twitter and Instagram are HeyIt'sBenJ. And if you prove to me that you use my code in the item shop, I'll shout you out in my next video. And one last thing, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel with notifications on for all of the newest Fortnite leaks, updates, news, and more. But without further further ado let's go ahead and get right into all of the new season 9 week 4 challenges and how to complete every single one starting off with the first challenge which is to deal damage with sniper rifles to opponents for this you need to deal 500 damage pretty basic challenge pretty straightforward as well basically you need to grab a sniper rifle whether that's the uh, the heavy sniper the semi sniper the hunting rifle I believe those are the only three snipers in the game right now and all you have to do is deal 500 damage which is about anywhere from what like three to five kills is all you need so that one should not be too hard for you to complete next this one is a three stage challenge the first stage is to dance inside of a holographic tomato head the holographic tomato head can be found at mega mall it's towards the back like where the black top used to be in retail row and i believe you just need to build like a nice little platform and once you dance in there obviously the first stage is complete next dance inside of a holographic der burger head now this one can be found at neo tilted it's on like one of the higher buildings so honestly for this one I recommend just dropping on top of the building and then doing the challenge obviously doing whatever dance and the last stage is to dance on top of a giant dumpling head now this one can be found all the way down at lucky landing usually people don't land here that often so this one shouldn't be too hard once again I recommend just like landing on top of it doing your dance whatever jumping back down getting into the game moving right along to the next challenge you need to get three legendary weapon eliminations now obviously if you guys don't know already legendary weapons are gold weapons so whether that's a gold scar, a gold combat, a gold heavy sniper, any gold weapon, you need three eliminations with them. This one really shouldn't be too hard for you because legendary weapons are obviously some of the best, if not the best weapons in the game. So getting eliminations with legendary weapons really should not be much of a challenge. The next challenge is to destroy a loot carrier in different matches. For this challenge, you need to destroy three loot carriers in three different matches. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with what loot carriers are, are. It's basically like those new drone uh, things that got added with one of these recent updates. And in order to drop out a location where there will be, if you look on the map right now, some locations will be bolded yellow. And that's really how you locate these loot carriers. They just fly around the top of the bolded locations. The tricky part about this challenge is that the location changes for every single game. Like loot carriers aren't spawning in like one area. They always fluctuate. It just depends on where the bolded leathers are on the map. So for this, obviously, I recommend dropping at wherever the bolded letters are or wherever the bolded location is sometimes there's like one bolded location other times i believe there's like two or maybe up to three even and to destroy them really isn't too hard you just put a few shots in them and then they'll drop the next challenge is a five stage challenge this one is landing at different locations stage one you need to land at polar peak stage two is lazy lagoon stage three is salty springs stage four is the block and stage five is lonely lodge now this is probably the easiest challenge in the entire game you literally just land at the location you do nothing else besides land there that's all you do next is eliminations at haunted hills or dusty divot for this you need to eliminate three people at either one of these locations i guess i would have to say dusty divot would probably be the best bet for completing this one because more people drop there and it's kind of like in the middle of the map usually for these i just go straight to that location i don't like wait till the end game to do it i go straight there land there just find a weapon try to kill people as quickly as possible because when the challenges first come out there's gonna be a lot of people going to these locations every game so honestly you could probably complete this challenge in one game maybe upwards of like two or three really just depends if you get a good drop on that location or not but that one really straightforward and finally visit different named locations in a single match for this you have to visit five different named locations in a single match now we have seen this type of challenge in the past usually for these types of challenges i like to land on the edges of the map far away from where the bus is my favorite corner to do this in is like to go into the upper 
left part of the map where like uh, Junk Junction and Haunted Hills and Snobby Shores are in the block too. All you really have to do is land on the vehicle, whether that be like a baller, a quad crasher, a drift board, any of those. And really, if you just ride around on the edges of the map, you can complete this challenge in literally just one game. Especially if you do this in like Team Rumble or something like that, like no one will really care what you're doing. But anyway, thank you guys all so much for watching this complete guide on how to complete all of the Season 9 Week 4 challenges. Drop this video a like if you guys did enjoy. Also, let me know in the comments if you did enjoy. Check out my last video. There's going to be a link to it in the description. And also, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel with notifications on. And yeah, that's been it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.